dun 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 You know, we travel all over the country in our camper, and uh, it's always good to come home. I live in Maine on a six-mile lake, and um, you see some wonderful places, but it's always good to come back here. I think anybody who, who travels, no matter where you live, whether it's a desert or a swamp or wooded area or whatever, you just like to come back to what you're used to. And if I were to turn around 180 degrees and walk to the front of the house about 200 feet there's a water. As I want to replace this flip up countertop with something more permanent. Now I know it looks pretty good, but it's made with birch plywood and edge around it. But if you notice the rest of the camper is made of maple and I want to match it. I didn't do it before because the wood was just so expensive, but I recently come into some. So I'm kind of hoping uh, I'll have enough and uh, redo this. I've taken and planed and joint and straightened and flattened the wood um, till I got it to a place where I want it. The wood starts out furry, sort of like a, a furry animal. And when you're done planing it, that same wood looks like this, like a, like a sleek, like a sleek dolphin. We've got a new cover for the spare tire. The old one got shredded in this last two month trip, but it's eight, it was eight years old, so no complaints. Um, this new one looks pretty good. Looks like it'll go at least that long. But now that I've got this thing, got the old one off, and I'm gonna put the new one on, what I want to do is I wanna do a repainting of the pipe that holds the spare on the front of the camper. So, Time to take this off, remove the mount, and spray it up. Something I do here, that when I mount this on, I can make sure that it doesn't come off. What I did was, with these bolts, is I drilled a hole through the bolt, just at the head of the nut, and so, just a small cotter pin through there, the nut, which does, doesn't seem to come loose, but it ever, if it ever did, this nut would always be on. It can't come off. I've got some Rust-Oleum primer here, and this is the red stuff. It's the, it's the better stuff. It'll stick better. And I've got some Rust-Oleum metallic finish. It's really more of a gray. It isn't that shiny. Now, um, 
to use Rust-Oleum on metal, whether it's bare or not. Um, definitely use a primer first, because if you don't, the top coat doesn't stick that good. And let me show you what I'm doing and uh, why I'm doing it. Now, this is the mount for the tire. Tire end up here, bolts of the trailer down here. Um, and I I've shown you this before in another video, but this is just a tire mount right here. And what I did is I welded another pipe on it and uh, I welded one on the side so this pipe right here could sit on the tongue of the trailer. And I'd also have another pipe to put my antenna in. I did a little modification on it while it was on the trailer. And I just took uh, some primer that I had and some paint that I had and, um, and just painted it up. But it's, you know, silvery up here. It's dark gray down here. Um, I don't know exactly what color gray this is gonna come out to, but I want it all the same color. And this is a good opportunity to do it. Not critical, but a good opportunity to do it. I've got a little naphtha, um, which is good for thinning paints. And it's also um, good for cleaning machine parts and oily surfaces. Now there's a little bit of rust on here, but nothing that's loose. And um, this primer um, is made for he up to heavily rusted metal. And I found that it actually does work. Something else I'm gonna take the opportunity to do too. These U-bolts that hold that tire pipe on, that tire mount on, are stick out way too much. When I put these nuts on, I have to thread them down like crazy before I ever get to the bottom and able to tighten them up. So I'm gonna cut some off of these. Now, I know that a lot of you know this, but if you put a nut on beforehand and thread it over, the cut you made, it re-threads the end and makes it so the nut will go on easier afterwards. After eight years, the hitch has got a little uh, rusty too. The rest of the trail is aluminum, but the, um, the hitch is, is uh, galvanized. You don't need to put this everywhere because the galvanizer is doing its job. And that is the third and final coat. And I'm going to leave that until tomorrow to dry out in this cool, windy, dry weather. I know someone's gonna ask, because they saw it earlier, through a hole in the tire mount, why I keep this loose bolt with a nut on the end of it. Well, the reason is, the pin on the end of your hitch, if you've got one like that, that locks it in, at some point, you're gonna misplace it. So there's a spare emergency pin that goes through the hole. That's the reason for it. Well, I have slid the bed up, the mattress back, and I've got the stool that I'm sitting on because it's too short to stand up in and it's too low to bend over or scooch down in. So I have a stool up on the bed and um, I need to take all this apart. This, this has been a hot mess for actually quite a while. I tried to rebuild, it didn't work out. So I have another idea. The TV I've got is old. It's an LCD TV, not an LED TV. Um, but it's a trucker's TV. Back um, when I bought it, 
and I did this about eight years ago. There weren't too many 12 volt options to choose from, mainly trucker TVs. This is a Naxa, and you know, I don't know if it's a good brand or not, but it's been good for eight years and it plays good. So I could buy an LED TV, it'd be a smarter TV and all that stuff, but uh, this one works, so there's not much point in it. And I have dongles and boxes and things to be able to get movies and stuff into it even though it's not that you know very smart television so um, I'm gonna take all of this apart and start from scratch so all we got right now is the mount and I have a port to plug the TV in because it has a, a 12 volt lighter light port to put in I've got a couple of uh, USB ports up here um, and I'm going to need three or four more and this is goes to the antenna and these three went to connect a sound system which was down um, on the counter but um, I don't need that anymore I'm not going to take it off because you know don't want to make a hole in there um, it's okay where it is but um, I'm mounting the sound system over here on the cabinet. So I need to get started on how to do that. Third time's a charm. We'll see. Well, the TV is back up, and we'll only see it from this angle, but showing you the back. I've got a small mount for the um, smart device that plays movies. I've got the cable sort of tied up. I need to do a little bit more. I've got the nice mount for the speaker. Um, it just slides in there. And what I will have is I will have a multi-port connector right here. Uh, for both USB and 12 volt items to plug in and that should give me my all my plugs and of course I mounted the fans down here and they are removable They are removable because we do take them outside with us sometimes they clip on our chairs and uh, they'll run all day on a charge I should be working on the uh, countertop but this came in yesterday it's a uh, towel rack with a shelf and it's expandable and uh, I need it. I'm going to put it right here and right in the, this spot and in this spot um, is where my aluminum um, studs are. And I'm going to take this screw out and this screw out because I know they're level and I am going to put the shelf these two holes right here and then add a couple to the bottom now I'm just going to put two more screws here but what's nice about it was I just slid this this open to fit this spot and uh, I didn't have to put rig up anything behind here to hold it because 
These screws are made to go into aluminum. They're quite coarse threaded, so they'll hold really good. They will hold really good. Okay, now I'm gonna get a couple more screws. Well, that'll be nice because we've been throwing our towels over anything here. So Joyce got a towel, I got a towel, and uh, dish towel, and we we'll probably put something up there. And there's a couple of hooks here on the side, and there's a whole bunch of them hanging from here. We can slide them to the side for the towels. I don't know what we use them for, but I'm always looking for a place to hang my hat. Something that works as good or better than a metal scraper is glass. Get an old pane of it, put it in a bag, hit it with a hammer, break it into pieces. You get flat areas, you get curved areas. One side of it is very sharp, and I've never cut myself. Old bolt builder's trick. down to 180 grit. Um, I'll eventually get it down to 240, but only before I finish it. It's bound to scratch a little bit um, in the final production process. mess of wiring um, finished I think so let me show it to you the wiring is pretty much up there it's tied up anyway even though it still looks messy but it's all there and uh, it isn't going to fall down over here I have a USB and 12 volt connection for the TV to plug in the two fans and the speaker and the television um, is going with the antenna right now. And let me unmute it. Psoriatic arthritis. Some patients even felt less fatigued. So that's the sound. May occur. Increase your risk of infections. I would show you some uh, regular music as it plays right from my watch. But um, whenever I, I go to start it, the Bluetooth connection from the phone switches and it turns the uh, video off. So, can't do it and not record with the phone. But, this is complete and the fans work. And they all have a permanent connection.
Let's go put it on. It's pretty heavy. Well, this thing is up and um, I only have one more thing to do, but I'm waiting for a part. It may not be here for about a week. My Max Air fan um, gearbox, the thing that automatically turns and opens up and closes the cover, exploded. Um, I guess they do that. It's eight years old. I ordered a new one, 40 bucks. It's going to be a very simple install, a couple screws, um, but uh, I don't know if it'll be here in time. Doesn't matter, I can always prop prop it up like, a, like I did on the way back from the last trip when it broke, not a problem. Well, I've got some polycrylic and I have wiped this down and I'm gonna put a couple coats on it. It dries fast, I'll get them on today. And then this countertop is done. The place is a mess um but i've got to get it together for thursday which is about four days away because we have a family camping trip on the white mountains national park it's only about an hour and a half away for us so it's a short trip um but we have uh, four campsites um booked and uh we're going to do um three or four days there three nights four days i think so Looking forward to it, and uh, they're kind of, kind of coming from all around, New York, New Hampshire, in Maine, and uh, we're gonna have a good time. And this thing is gonna be ready.